What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE action figure toy hunt. Now, join me as we look for new figures. All right, man, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are going on a toy hunt. Now, we are going to be looking for some. I, I really, my only mission today is going to be finding that last Legends figure that we have. The Andre the Giant regular version is what we're going to be looking for. But who the hell knows, man? We're going to be hitting up a couple stores here trying to see if we can find some different figures, man. But join me on my hunt as we get it. It is like 6 a.m., and I'm barely dragging. So join me as on my adventure as we probably crash on our way to the store now like i said this toy hunt was very very early it was 6 a.m but some good things about toy hunting that early in the morning is you can actually catch some extra z's while driving in the middle of traffic because there is no traffic but after a short drive we did arrive at our first location which happened to be a walmart but would the early rise be worth a damn let's find out all right fellas here we go first location walmart and it looks like we have absolutely nothing bro what the hell are we doing I mean, we have Ultimate Bianca, but this has been here, man. All this stuff has been here. We, this, I mean, this Walmart was hitting so often, and now we're getting the same figures over and over, or they're just not restocking anything. Elite 106, Sami Zayn. Oh, my God. Are you kidding, Brad? Year-round gingerbread, man. Opened in the package. My God, man. Are we snacking on gingerbread men at Walmart now? You're a monster. Eat me. Unbelievable. We have Eddie Kingston. We have The Rock. We have Zia Lee or Zia Lee Kushida. We have Tamina. We have a Roxanne Perez, which I guess technically is like a good find because these are like one per case or something like that, I think. I don't, I don't know exactly, but we have <laughs> Mr. Infamous himself, and then we have a ton of rock. We do have Invisibility Cloak Rollins back here. So that's a cool figure, but uh, I actually snapped the peg of mine. I haven't showed you guys, but I snapped the peg of my Rollins. We have Brock, another Rollins, Bianca, Brock, Rock, Bianca. We have another Brock here, another Rock, Bianca, 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 Rock, and Brock. And then we have Big E and Bobby Lash. We have Charlotte and Alexa Bliss, Big E and Bobby Lash, and then another Charlotte and Alexa Bliss. We have a bunch of Superstars figures, my God. Got a lot of Piper. We got Rick Rude, we got Earthquake, and we got Rock back there. Top picks, Randy Orton again. We have Drew. Uh, I guess it's good that Drew and The Rock and Brock are on pegs because a lot of people are probably going to want Brock because uh, this will probably be the last figure besides Elite Nine or Elite 108. This will probably be the, like the last Brock we get for a little bit, if ever again. Who the hell knows at this juncture? But you have Rock, Bray, uh, more superstars. It looks like Mr. Perfect finally sold if he wasn't here last time. We have Eddie Kingston yet again, and then we have a shish ton of basics up here. What the hell is this? We have, oh my God in heaven, bro. The Mark 46 Iron Man completely. Dude, what are we doing, man? I, I guarantee the same person that stole this Iron Man is the same person that took the damn gingerbread men, man. Absolutely maniacal. I mean, what in the hell? We have a random Elite 100 Ray. Elite 100 Becky, and then it's the same AEW figures we've seen for about 27 years now. Uh, Jesus in heaven, man. This all looks like Lesnar, Rock, and Tamina, and nothing else. Zia Lee, yep. Jesus in heaven. I mean, Jey Uso, I feel like that figure's pretty sought after, I guess, but I have quite a bit of that figure. Do I need another one of those? Sami Zayn? I would use this for parts only, but Jesus in heaven. If this Bianca dropped in price, I'd probably grab it. I still don't have that loose. I still haven't been on card. Never even reviewed this figure on the channel. Oh my gracious, alive. I thought it'd been long enough, man. I mean, we went all the way to Tampa and they still don't have new figures. <sighs> More Bianca over here. Christ. So unfortunately, our Walmart trip was a bust, but the hunt was not over. And of course, my Target store was not that far away from my Walmart. So after our Walmart trip, we did drive over shortly across town to our Target location where we would be spending our next WWE toy hunt. But would this drive be worth it, Brad? The only way to find out is hit up the aisle and find out what the hell they have. All right, fellas, here we go. What do we got? Oh man, not a lot. Not a lot here, but that's a cool find. Ultimate Warrior, Legends. Car oh my God, in heaven, what the hell? Okay, well, that's not good. 
kind of ripped open on its own there. It's not sealed, but we do have a sealed one right here, which is cool. I think this is the second time I've seen that, so that's cool. I think they're on sale. A lot of sales going on right now, but we have a lot of, I'm, I'm just gonna leave that flat so it doesn't come open. Outside that, we have a Thunder Rosa, we have a Carmella, and then we finally have completed the set. I didn't have the regular Andre, now I do. So they do have the regular Andre. They have another regular, they have one chase, and they have a third regular. So finally seeing this, I'm definitely grabbing this to add to the collection there, but looks like it is on sale. How much is it on sale for? 19, okay, save a little money. Live better, Walmart, even though it's Target. Very cool, all right, well, kind of, it's been very, very blank lately, man. Haven't been finding a lot, but happy to find this. Outside of that, I don't see much else, man. Not seeing a whole lot else in the next NECA section or anything over here. I don't think I need anything over here, but still on the fence about that Elvira right there. And then everything else looks to be about the same. I need to get some of these Tony Terrors. I definitely want Captain Spaulding right there. I got, I mean, they do definitely have some new Tony Terrors, but not the season right this second. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe they'll be here later on this year, but um i don't see anything else unfortunately kind of garb pretty damn plain to be honest with you i wish i had more locations man one target I need more locations man we have one walmart we have two walmarts and we have one target it's absolutely it's kind of embarrassing but that's a score coming over here real quick the dc multiverse figures they never have jack shish but it does look like they do have couple of MJs over here and then they do have the new Infinity Saga or I guess I did quote unquote new um I have seen this full wave I think now and a couple of Mark IIs and then we do have a few caps right here which is just cool to see in person I just like seeing the, the figures on the shelves gotta hold on to that even though they have more multiple but yeah man if you need a Target Ultimate Warrior or a Chase Legends Andre they got it I know people watch these videos that live in the area and they don't tell me all right, man, we are back home after the toy hunt, and we did grab some good stuff here. And I do want to showcase some stuff as well, but we did grab the last Legends figure that we needed out of the set, which is going to be this Andre the Giant figure. Now, we've already reviewed this full wave. I had to review the full wave with the Chase figure. So if you guys missed that and you want to check out that full set, definitely check that out. But I also went ahead and grabbed the other Ultimate Warrior, not the one that was, uh, you know, like hanging open. So the hanging open Ultimate Warrior is still on the shelves. So if somebody wants to go grab that, I guess you're open to it. The rest of it was pretty bare, but I did grab this. I'm going to give this away on my Patreon. So the Patreon supporters are going to have an opportunity to own this figure here, the Extreme Division members and higher. Huge shout out to those fellas, of course. But also I wanted to showcase this. So th this is a custom I've been working on over here. Here's the snapped neck invisibility cloak rollins that i was talking about so yeah that i probably should have bought one of those at that walmart to be honest with you uh maybe i could i mean they had two of them we'll see what comes of that however this is a custom i've been working on i've been wanting to get a ultimate edition cedric alexander so i figured the mr t torso right here is pretty good for cedric alexander now you guys know that mattel gave us the damn daniel bryan torso which i don't like now this is more accurate probably but you guys know that I put this Kofi Kingston torso on my Cedric Alexander fix-ups. Well, this Cedric Alexander, I, I don't want him to have this torso. So I was thinking, trying to make an Ultimate Edition Cedric Alexander. Now, I probably, you know, I don't think that everything needs to be converted into Ultimate Edition. However, I still think that it would be better to have, you know, this torso with the butterfly joints over the Daniel Bryan torso with single jointed arms. So what I'm trying to figure out is A, I can either just plug these Kofi Kingston arms and maybe a sleeved arm into this Mr. T to kind of modify it a little bit because he doesn't need these jacked. Uh, Cedric Alexander doesn't need these jacked arms. But I'm thinking if I put a sleeved arm in there and then a double-jointed Kofi Kingston arm, I can add the decal or some wrist tape and whatnot. And also, this has purple wrist tape, as you guys can see there. So maybe that's an opportunity there. But I also thought about just completely redoing the whole formula. So Give him the Mr. T torso, maybe put it on some different legs, because this is a Daniel Bryan formula with the Cedric Alexander head. It's pretty much what this is. So I would like to see, you know, a different formula there. So I'm still working on that currently. That's kind of my current custom project. I also have another custom project that I'm working on. I got this Jeff Hardy Basic off eBay that I have a plan for. I bought it strictly for the head sculpt, so we'll see what comes of that. This doesn't have the hair mold that I want, so I, I low-key, I want this face sculpt, but I want the Elite 67 hair piece so i want this hair piece that's on this figure right here and i want to put it onto this face sculpt i've done it before and i think bw did it it's this one right here 
right here in the middle right there, that kind of like 07-ish hardy right there. That's what I really want to do, but I never could figure it out. So, you know, I tried to, my hand at one, I used some extra parts, but I sucked. I couldn't get it to, you know, I couldn't fully grasp it to get it to go. However, that is the custom project that I'm working on. But very happy to have the, the Andre. The, you know, that was kind of like one of the goals, to be honest with you, was going on the toy hunt this morning and seeing if we could find that. So that was good. But a huge shout out to Mattel as well, because they did send us over the official Retro 4-pack. Now, I'm pretty sure this is still available. This is the Mattel Creations exclusive Retro 4-pack. I don't know if they're coming to ringside or not. But we do have Hogan, we have Wendy Richter, Big John Studd, and Muhammad Ali. They also have that WrestleMania ring over there for like $25. So that may be something you want to, you know, cash in your money in the bank briefcase. But I did want to give a huge shout out to Mattel and a thank you to them over there at Mattel for sending that out to me. I greatly appreciate it. But this is on sale right now at MattelCreations.com along with that WrestleMania ring. So you definitely need to go, you know, cash in that money in the bank briefcase. However, I think that pretty much wraps up our toy hunt video. I was trying to think if there was something. I want to say there was something else I wanted to showcase. I guess I can talk about this a little bit. I'm actually going to be redoing this stage. I ordered all the parts, man. They're coming in. That's going to be its own separate video, I think. And it's going to be really, I'm, I'm really excited about it for that. That That's going to be a pretty sweet thing. So this is coming in very soon. It's a completely custom brand new stage using a bunch of parts. So I'm, I'm pretty damn hyped for it. I even have some custom pieces that I'm going to throw in there. So you guys can look forward to that project. That one's going to be epic. However, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up the Toy Hunt video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Let me know if you saw anything on the Toy Hunt that you would have grabbed. But I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Again, that Ultimate Warrior will be going up on Patreon for the giveaway for the month of February. So if you guys want to get in on that or what have you, definitely check that out. I greatly appreciate it. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor and go watch the Royal Rumble vlog. I greatly appreciate it. Leave a like on that video and leave me a comment. I greatly appreciate it. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.